Hello friends, how are you all? Welcome to our channel InfoThing, weekly session and analysis on banking in financial awareness. Here we are covering these banking updates between 27th July to 31st July. I am sure this video may be useful for your all upcoming banking and insurance related exams. So before moving forward, if you don't want to miss our latest bank awareness updates, don't forget to subscribe our InfoThing YouTube channel. Now let's begin our session. Another question is N. Shivaraman. N. Shivaraman, he is appointed as MD and Group CEO of which credit rating agency? He is appointed as MD and CEO of for which credit rating agency? Here the answer is ICRA, ICRA, Investment Information and Credit Rating Agency of India. The ICRA abbreviation is Investment Information and Credit Rating Agency of India Limited. The Board of Directors ICRA has appointed N. Shivaraman as the MD and CEO of this credit rating agency for 3 years. So he has replaced Naresh Thakkar. He was the earlier MD and group CEO of this credit rating agency. So when it comes to ICRA, ICRA it is a public limited company established by banking service organizations and financial institutions. So ICRA it is an independent organization, independent credit rating agency. First we will see uh, what is a credit rating agency. So a credit rating agency uh, is assess the credit worthiness of a borrower. Credit worthiness of a borrower or debtor. So in particular, uh, in general terms uh, with respect to a particular uh, debt or financial obligation, the credit rating agency uh, will assess the credit worthiness of a borrower. Whether they can, uh, whether the borrower uh, able to repay their debts on time. So, uh, you might have seen uh, many credit rating agencies in India, uh, Chrysil, Ikra, Care, Smera. So, these all are the credit rating agencies in India. So, here the question is, uh, Ikra, Ikra's new MD and group CEO of uh, this credit rating agency, his name is N. Shivaraman. So, when it comes to static part, the Ikra headquarters, uh, Ikra headquarters uh, it is uh, uh, Gurgaon, Haryana. Now moving on to next question, the question says with whom Bank of Baroda Financial Solutions Limited have partnered to have a digital transformation of card issuance and its processing. So here the answer is Finsaru INC. Finsaru INC, it is a technology based financial services limited and payment global provider. Finsaru, it is a technology based financial services and payment global provider. So the only owned subsidy of Bank of Baroda. Uh, it is named as Bank of Baroda Finance Solutions Limited. So it has partnered with Finsur, uh, which is a technology based finance services limited. Uh, they both have joined together to have a flexible, scalable solution to accelerate the digital transformation of card issuance and its processing. So the main intention of uh, their joint venture is uh, to develop high-tech products like uh, contactless credit cards, uh, tokens and integration with the branded wallets and virtual credit cards. So the main uh, purpose of for this uh, 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 joint venture is uh, flexible uh, scalable solutions to accelerate the digital transformation of card issuance and its processing uh, and to develop uh, high-tech products uh, like contactless credit cards, tokens and integration with branded wallets and virtual credit cards. So when it comes to study part of this question, the headquarters of Bank of Baroda Finance Solution, it is Mumbai. And the headquarters of this Finsaro INC, uh, it is United States. It is Brookfield in United States. Here the answer is Finsaro INC. It is a technology-based financial solutions uh, service and it is pay global payment provider. Now next question says, which bank has sanctioned 3 million US dollars as the financial support to India to combat COVID-19 under Asia Pacific Disaster Response Funds? So by seeing this Asia Pacific Disaster Response Fund, uh, we can guess the answer. So here the answer is ADB, Asian Development Bank. So Asian Development Bank has sanctioned 3 million US dollars as the financial support to India 
to combat covid-19 under asia pacific disaster response fund so this fund comes under asian pacific disaster response fund ap drf so when comes to uh, starting part of this question the headquarters of asian development bank it is manila philippines and the present uh, president of this asian development bank masatsugu asakawa masatsugu asakawa so he is a present president of adb so his answer is asian development bank adb friends you can follow our channel in social platforms like telegram facebook and instagram these link i have provided in description section now next question says bahut zaruri hai bahut zaruri hai a crop insurance campaign launched by which general insurance company so recently bahut zaruri hai it is a crop insurance campaign has been launched by which general insurance company so your answer is bharat axa general insurance company it is a crop insurance uh, launched for the farmers uh, to encourage them to have a protection and security for their farms and crops so it is a crop insurance campaign launched for farmers to encourage them to have protection and security of their farms and crops so this campaign is launched by bharat axa life insurance company sorry bharat axa general insurance company so the campaign is launched for the farmers of maharashtra and karnataka so th this you have to remember so this uh, campaign has been launched for farmers of which states for maharashtra and karnataka states only at right now so when comes to starting part of this question the headquarters of bharat axa general insurance it is mumbai so here the answer is bharat axa general insurance that uh, campaign name is bahut zaruri hai it is a crop insurance campaign now and the question says who appointed as md and ceo of tata ai life insurance company tata ai a life insurance company so here the answer is navin navin tahilyani so navin navin t navil tahilyani he is appointed as md and ceo of tata ai a life insurance company so he is appointed by whom uh, who appointed uh, him as this md and ceo of tata ai IRDI Insurance Regulatory Development Authority of India appointed him as MD and CEO of Tata AA Life Insurance. So when it comes to that part of this question, the headquarters of Tata AA Insurance it is Mumbai and headquarters of IRDI Hyderabad. Now moving forward to next question, the International Monetary Fund IMF provides a loan of 4.3 USD, 4.3 billion US dollars to South Africa. IMF providing a loan of 4.3 billion US dollars to South Africa to combat covid-19 of course in the country so now the question is who is the present md of IMF so the answer is Kristalina Jajwa Kristalina Jajwa she is md of this IMF so international monetary fund provides a loan of USD 4.3 billion US dollars to South African country to combat covid-19 to combat covid-19 uh, south africa getting a loan of uh, 4.3 billion us dollars from imf so the headquarters of imf washington dc and the chief economist of imf uh, geeta gopinath so chief economist of imf geeta gopinath now next question says irctc launched co-branded contactless credit card with which organization yeah recently irctc has launched this co-branded contactless credit card with which organization with SBA cards so already uh, there was uh, a joint venture between IRCTC and SBA cards so in the same rope the IRCTC has launched this Indian Railways Catering and Tourism Corporation IRCTC abbreviation Indian Railway Catering and Tourism and Corporation it, it is in a partnership with SBA cards have launched this co-branded credit cards so uh, this credit cards is launched on the rupee platform on the rupee platform and this launching of cards made by uh, Piyush Goyal so this launching of card was made by Piyush Goyal and the card is made by near field communication technology NFC technology which provides a transaction of uh, transaction at the point on uh, point of sale POS machines uh, by tap and pay option so they are telling contactless credit card now so this is like a tap and pay options so this uh, near field communication technology provides security for online transaction to the user 
so the cards uh, these cards also provide safe and convenient uh, and it improve travel experience to all rail passengers so for that purpose the iscetc uh, indian railway Cat uh, catering and tourism corporation has partnered with this sba they launched together a co-branded credit card that took contactless credit card so when it comes to static part of this question, the IRCTC headquarters, New Delhi, and present chairman and MD of IRCTC, Mahindra Pratap Mal. Mahindra Pratap Mal, he is the present chairman and MD of IRCTC. So when it comes to SBA cards, uh, it is a holy holy subsidy of uh, State Bank of India. Uh, so the SBI cards headquarters, it is Gurugao, Haryana. Now next question says which Indian accounting standard was amended by government of India recently. So during this pandemic situation of coronavirus and to support uh, Indian companies the government of India has amended certain Indian accounting standards. AS we will call it as in accounting terms normally in commerce students might have known uh, Indian accounting standards uh, including the standards and norms relating to leases. So these amendments uh, has uh, recently made uh, standards and norms related to leases. So here the answer is AS 103 and AS 116. Accounting standards 103 and accounting standards 116. So the Ministry of Corporate Affairs has amended this uh, Indian accounting standards AS 103 and AS 116. And also some other standards. So uh, the Indian uh, accounting standard 116 stand, uh, standard defines it is a lease as contract or uh, any section particular contract which uh, conveys the right to use an, an asset for a tenure of, of time in exchange of consideration. We will call it as normally a lease. So it is related to principle of presentation, uh, recognition and disclosure of a lease. So the uh, Indian accounting standards 103 standards it is related to business combination business combinations so the amendment uh, rules were set at finalized by Ministry of uh, Ministry in guidance and consultation with the National Financial Reporting Authority so these amendments rules were set and finalized by whom by Ministry in guidance and consultation with the National Financial Reporting Authority NFRA so previously before rela uh, before uh, relaxing these norms under uh, indian accounting standard 116 uh, there were uh, practical difficulties uh, difficulties being faced by the companies uh, in current situation of pandemic in terms of lease payments so that's why uh, therefore to solve this problem government of india and i mean she has amended these rules under this uh, standard so this will provide lease concession to indian companies so mainly you have to remember in this question is the government of India recently has amended accounting standards of 103 and 116. So 116 related to lease and 103 to, uh, relates to business combination, business combinations. So these amendments uh, in the Indian accounting standard 103 uh, will help entities to determine whether a transaction need to be accounted as business combination or an asset acquisition. So here you need to remember that accounting standards uh, numbers that's in Indian accounting uh, standards 103 and 106. Uh, friends, I am providing this weekly updates uh, from March month onwards. So any one of you missed our previous months or weeks uh, updates uh, uh, on this bank and financial news. So you can reach playlist section and take weekly updates playlist. So there every week's banking and financial updates uh, you could see. So you can pick and watch it if you are Mr. Now moving on to next question uh, with which organization Bank of Maharashtra partnered to provide omni channel security to its digital banking app MahaSecure. So here the Bank of Maharashtra having a mobile digital banking app that is app name is MahaSecure. So for this app they partnered with which, uh, which organization uh, to provide omni channel security to their digital banking app. So the answer is Uniken. Bank of Maharashtra has partnered with Uniken company. It is an organization which works in the field of digital security. So they have partnered to work and provide Omni Channel Security. The Omni Channel Security will provide a Bank of Maharashtra's online banking app that is named as MahaSecure. So Uniken's technology, it is provide a Omni Channel Security and it is as a defense in depth functionality which provides online security uh, from malware attacks uh, by providing safe transaction facility of banking 
so for the purpose of this partnership it was to provide online security from malware attacks by providing safe transaction facility for their banking customers so when it comes to uh, headquarters of uh, bank of maharashtra it is pune maharashtra and tagline of bank of maharashtra one family one bank and when it comes to this unique in organization the headquarters of unique in organization it is united states and the present ceo of unique in bimal gandhi bimal gandhi is a ceo of this unique in so this bank of maharashtra has partnered with unique in it is an organization which works in the field of digital security for secure and to provide online security from malware attacks by providing safe transaction facility for bank of maharashtra banking customers now next question says the reserve bank of india has signed an agreement of usd 400 million dollars currency swap facility with which country so with which neighbor country of india so here the answer is sri lanka the reserve bank of india has signed an agreement of usd 400 million us dollars currency swap facility with sri lanka country so this currency swap facility agreement will be valid until november 2022 so this agreement is signed to help sri lanka to meet with its short term international liquidity requirements so to meet this short term liquidity um, uh, international liquidity requirements so this india our reserve bank of india has signed an agreement with sri lankan company uh, sri lankan state country so the foreign exchange reserves will also be boosted for sri lankan country which declined due to covid 19 in the country so this currency sub agreement was signed under the south asian association of regional cooperation this sarc is there no so sarc so here the answer is sri lanka so when it comes to starting part of this question uh, sri lanka currency name is the currency of sri lanka it is sri lankan rupee sri lankan rupee and the capital of sri lanka sri jayawardene pura kotte in the capital of sri lanka sri jayawardena kotte and when it comes to this rbi is the bank of india governor shaktikandas and the headquarters of rbi mumbai now moving on to next question the question says which organization in india released the 21st issue of financial stability report which organization released this financial stability report that is 21st financial stability report so here the answer is reserve bank of india this financial stability report fsr it is a study and assessment of financial stability and development council so this reports to draw the study of risks to financial stability resilience to financial system in order to develop and regulate the financial sector of the country i'll repeat once again this report draws the study of risk to financial stability resilience to financial system in order to develop and regulate the financial sector of the country so as this report has made uh, certain assessments and certain calculations so we no need to uh, remember those things but when exam point of view this uh, report uh, will be released by reserve bank of india so for the purpose uh, this the, the report studies uh, study of risk to financial stability uh, resilience to financial system uh, in order to develop and regulate the finance sector of the country so when it comes to static part of the reserve bank of india headquarters of uh, reserve bank of india it is mumbai and governor of rbi shaktikandas now next one says with which insurance company with which insurance company amazon pay has partnered to offer vehicle insurance amazon has partnered to offer vehicle insurance with which company with in, with insurance company so the answer is aco general insurance limited aco general insurance company so amazon pay amazon unit of amazon india it is as partnered with aco general insurance limited to launch vehicle insurance so under this partnership customers will now uh, be able to purchase two wheeler and four wheeler insurance policy in less than 2 minutes with no paperwork so when it comes to uh, features of this vehicle insurance policy are uh, zero paperwork and one hour pickup uh, three day assured claim servicing and one year repair warranty and instant cash settlements to also so now customers uh, will be able to purchase vehicle insurance via this amazon pay page so uh, they can select options like uh, add ons so like zero depreciation and engine protection etc so the customers will able to make insurance payment through amazon pay balance and upi or uh, any cards any debit or credit cards 
so in exam point of view uh, no need of uh, um, all these things the facilities uh, they are providing by uh, amazon and this we need to remember uh, with which insurance company amazon pay as partner to offer vehicle loan vehicle insurance it is uh, aqua general insurance so when it comes to static part of this question the aqua general insurance company it is headquarters mumbai and when it comes to amazon pay it is washington dc united states friends uh, that's all for today's session so i hope you gained something uh, in this session so if it is true uh, please like uh, share and comment and don't forget to subscribe our channel to get more videos like this so keep studying friends uh, enjoy the preparation uh, thanks for watching bye bye